folks. If you enjoyed the show, I hope you support us by supporting our favorite organization, the Humane Farming Association. With a donation of $25, we will give you gray, tan, or white Plorn baskets made out of about 90 grocery bags each. Um, please include at least $5 shipping. Thanks for watching, y'all. Yep. I just got loud. Still having to use oil. We bought an electric outboard, but it's too small for our sailboat and the currents that we're going to be having that we're going to face in the CW here in a couple days. But uh, hopefully, it's not for long. Brandon's still working on experimenting with long propellers and different kinds of motors, different sizes. Fact, the electric outboard we bought had a motor in it with a coupler on it that would fit. The electric outboard setup we already have for the big prop. Pretty much want to buy a replacement motor for the electric outboard we bought and adapt it to our bigger uh, bottom end that has the bigger prop on it and will pretty much be there. So the electric outboard was a good find for the uh, the adapter that was buried. It's probably a $20 adapter in the middle of this $600 motor but there it is and it fits the spline so maybe I'll have a part number maybe I can order a copy of it. Hi folks, this video will show you just a little of what it's like to explore the ICW from St. Augustine to Cocoa Beach. We were so excited to explore St. Augustine on our new mega scooters. We traipsed up and down all the historic looking back alleys and found some delicious restaurants like South of Philly Steaks and Burger Buckets. We loved our experience at St. Sebastian Winery and the Mission Nombre de Dios Museum and giant cross. After three or four days in St. Augustine, we moved on down little by little, stopping at a few art galleries and historical points of interest along the way. We anchored wherever we wanted to stop, but our goal was Titusville, Cocoa Beach area, because of the tide control, but also admittedly because of the rockets. We hit up some awesome museums in Cocoa Beach area. But for one reason or another, we don't have videos of it, so I'll just list the points of interest in the description below. I hope you enjoy the show. Watching another sunrise. We're in St. Augustine, anchored right next to the castle of San Marcos, and a bunch of old stuff. We're going to go see like an old school and an old jailhouse today. They were partying up on shore last night. Looked pretty fun. It's all lit up. The moon's out. You can see the giant cross over there. The only question is to find and figure out where we're going to park the dinghy while we go explore. Can you see our boat out there? Let's see, where is it? Right there, the one with the jet ski on it. We tried to dinghy over here next to Castillo de San Marcos, but they told us just to get out of the only dinghy dock available is a $12 a day dinghy dock back that way on the other side of the Lion Bridge. So we've just scootered our way across looking at the sights. Gonna go check out. Old school and old jail, all cool. kinds of good stuff. Look at the line here now, though. Yeah. yeah. Not worth it. What's inside of there? Is that the old school and jail?
Bridge of Lions. <laughs> That's pretty basic. I don't see pretty the lions. Cool city. All right, bird viewing at 7 a.m. Believe these are hawks. <laughs> Why are you standing on her back, you goober? <laughs> We've reached Daytona. Oh, there's dolphins. Too much solar today. No, we can see the boats now. A minute ago, we can look at the post and I can see a single boat out there. Jump up there, Bailey. <laughs> What's the matter? Good job. Get back on the trail. We've been in uh, Cocoa Beach for like two weeks now, so that's way too long. It's a nice city. I like it. It's just there's the food is too expensive because it's a tourist trap city. But it's awesome to see rockets flying all the time and all the people. Always somebody new around. Always dogs for Bentley to play with. So I'm just uh, kind of eyeballing this, and I don't think. It would be underwater at that point, or just barely underwater, but I don't know, it might, we might put it on there for kicks and see what it does, but we scored this for 200 bucks today off of Facebook Marketplace, she went and picked it up, and it's 48 volt, 1000 watts, brushless, of course comes with the controller, I've already removed it so we can put it somewhere else where it's more water safe, because although it is mostly sealed on like that connector and that connector, one random connector for the motor. Um, oh look, yeah. On the controller side, they put on goop, so it's kind of waterproofy. But on the motor side, nothing. Fail, big fail right there. I mean, you see the difference? Salt water's gonna go right in there. So I'm gonna remove that and chop that away. Another fail point they had was the bus bar connector where all these eyelets come in. Um, they're just thrown in there inside. And of course water can seep right past them and get to it. So, I mean, what's the point? So I'm going to chop all that off and make it super waterproof. And we'll probably test it with that prop. I'll probably 3D print a prop. I'll probably put an extender on and try this prop. Yeah, I'm going to have fun with this. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. What you see, Bentley? Hey, thanks.
thanks for watching. If you like what you see, push the subscribe button and let us know. It doesn't cost you anything, but it sure means a lot to us. See you next time.